Hey, Jay Dahl from Dollhouse Studios here. Last week, Universal Audio released its DAW for free, called Luna. Can a free DAW become your new DAW of choice? I tried mixing a whole project with it, and I both loved it and kind of hated some of it. Let's see how it went. Let's get it. Luna is macOS and audio units plugins only. And it's perhaps the most Mac application I've used since GarageBand with its odd and even obtuse file menu and obstinate refusal to allow customization. But more on this later. UA, of course, has you use their installer, which will install a creepy and unnecessary taskbar app. Hate these things. Luna at first wouldn't open for me, freezing on plugin scans. I had to go into system library, remove all component files, then return them in alphabetical order before finding out that it was, ironically, Steinberg's AU versions of their synths and samplers that were preventing launch. Luna opens very quickly once initial scan is done though. Creating a project is easy and clear despite the annoying launch center window that opens. I hate these things too. Luna is stunning as an app in its clean design and high-res rendering of its graphical elements. Importing WAV files with simple drag and drop or through file menu import. To see how plugins are loaded in Luna. I really like this large dynamic inspector panel that shows whatever details you need, depending on what's selected. It's called the browser. Plugins appear as large rectangles on the inserts panel. I immediately went about my default mixing flow using Hornet's VU Meter Mark IV to get each track to 0 VU or minus 18 full scale. I then render clips in place and unload the VU meter, usually. So where's render in place? Here I try to render the clip in place. File menu, export clips sounds about right. Pretty cool interface for bouncing actually. It defaults to a custom exports folder that is made under your top level folder. After mistakenly trying to bounce with the consolidate feature in the right click menu, which just bounces any chops you've made to the clip, I get it done and the new WAV file appears in the folder. The other odd part of this DAW is that there is no audio editor window that I could find at all. I'm led to the conclusion that Luna is targeted towards mixing rather than full-blown creation. It does have MIDI features though. Editing clips in the main window is a bit of an odd affair. There are no tools to switch between as I'm used to in other DAWs. Rather, tools appear contextually as you mouse over trigger areas much like Logic and Pro Tools and Cubase now. This is both convenient and frustrating. The cursor is constantly changing and when you want a specific tool it often takes considerable work to get it. I was really shocked to find that the only way to split clips is with a file menu call. Hotkey Command E.
Looking to continue gain staging all my tracks, I wanted to load an instance of VU meter into every audio track. At first, I tried manually. Doesn't seem that you can modify dragging to copy. You can right click copy plugins from one channel to another, but only into one channel. I found you can load a plugin into multiple channels simply by having them all selected when picking the plugin. Nice. Luna also provides mixer trim. There's another way to gain stage after clip gain. So I continue to finish gain staging the drums and use one more VU meter plugin on main bus to get that hitting zero VU. Faders can be assigned to permanent groups. So this gangs the faders together, it does not change the channel's outputs. The groups show up in the browser in their own section and can be disabled. Very nicely organized. Assigning channels to buses. Simply select your channels and tap the output section in the mixer and you're done. This can also be done by creating a bus with the track selected. The mixer is lovely and very customizable. As you scroll down the mixer, the control area to its left lights up showing you what's got focus. Any sections in yellow can be resized or hidden. You can also select sections and have them appear alone. Great for focusing. Control on the transport that opens a small area that contains controls that apply during different stages of production, like editing and automation. In Luna, each bus has its own bus compressor. They have several modes that are engaged with buttons that change your attack and release times and characteristics. These things sound great and they're fun to play with. And each channel can have its own EQ, parametric, pass filters, gate, compressor, and preamp, which you can drive for more color. I found myself moving much more quickly through my process and getting lost in tweaking knobs and, and quickly moving on. Please like and subscribe and share this. If you'd like to support me, there's a link to my Patreon at the end of the video and in the description. We can hear the mix starting to get dialed in a bit more now. A real drum tone is starting to flow and I feel it's much easier to get the mix growing quickly knowing that I have the same EQ on every channel. Despite it being a limitation, it gives you a box to work in. And that and the EQ sounds fantastic, so who cares? You set up the sends the same way that you change outputs with the track selected. Simply click 
on the plus in its send area and then pick the plug in and the connection will be done automatically. Now that we're on to the vocals, we're going to need some send effects. And since there is no time-based processing included with Luna of any kind, I'm going to have to use third-party plugins here, cheat a bit. Here I'm going to use uh, Native Instruments uh, Delay and Reverb. Luna makes it easy for me to do my classic tricks with reverbs and delays since each return channel comes with its own EQs and compressors. I go ahead and compress my reverb, EQ it in the channel, set up a side change from the vocal to duck the delay, and then I'll send that delay to the reverb. And of course you can color tracks easily. Just select it and touch the strip to the left of the title and the color wheel comes up, though it is very limited as far as I can see. Those are your colors with no other possibilities. You don't get the usual wheels to pick from. Okay, so here's where I'm at now. After an hour of messing around, I found the whole process really enjoyable and very easy to get things to a thick place and very record sounding quite quickly. Of course this mix needs a hell of a lot more work and the singer is going to kill me for showing you this, but he's going to have to catch me first. As I was building this board mix, I slowly became aware that everything was starting to sound a little bit crushed, a little bit bonkers, so I started again. And that's when I realized I had to get all my gain staging done, because by default, if you have the API and Neve package, everything is feeding into compressors. And eventually, once the level gets high enough, you're going to start getting action out of the compressors. And th this was a bit surprising that, that these load on by default, but this helps with that console mixed feeling. I, I haven't felt this way about mixing since I used to work the big 88 input Mitsubishi console 
Okay, we're gonna start again. Honestly guys, I haven't felt this way about mixing since I used to work on a big 88 input Mitsubishi console back in the early 2000s. Saturation, compression start to pick up as the mix builds and you're feeding into a force that's pushing back on you a bit and gives you that glued mix much more quickly. It's very exciting stuff. Luna blew me away with this uncanny recreation of the flow and feel of mixing on an analog mixing console. But it also left me severely disappointed in some crucial areas. If Universal Audio can get their business together and fully flesh out this DAW, then we have an interesting new product here. It's free, and you get a 30-day trial of the API and Neve plugins, so why not try it? Have you tried Luna? Were you impressed with its features? Tell me in the comments below, and if the reaction's good, I'll do another video on Luna. We, we didn't even get into recording or automation. Until next time, let's get it! Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and spank that subscribe button.